Hey, welcome back to the channel. We got another exciting video. Today we're going to be talking about the Apollo Nero, if you could see that, which is a little wearable device that uses vibrations to entrain your nervous system and, according to the company, improve your HRV. In this review, we're going to be talking about who this device is for, what it does, how it works, and what can you expect from it based on my experience. And if this product might be right for you, hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding if this is something that you think you should be investing in. And before we get into that, I wanna tell you a quick story about how this product was introduced to me um, and what it did for me. So where do I begin? This month, this last month, has probably been one of the hardest periods of my life. And there was a lot of things that sort of stacked on top of each other that started to compound and began to create some serious uh, issues in my life in regards to stress and in regards to anxiety. I have not had any type of anxiety for years uh, because of all the practices that I have and how I take care of myself. And if you haven't seen any of those other videos, then you know, just go check out the channel and you can see what I'm talking about. So this is a very unusual occurrence for me. And let's just say things caught up with me. There was a lot of stuff going on in my life at this very given moment and I was having some serious anxiety. And I was going to an appointment to go see uh, my MAT practitioner, which if you haven't seen my 10 ways of improving your HRV, I talk about it in that video. I will link it up up here in the description. So I'm going to see uh, this MAT practitioner, this guy that I work with, and I am legit having an anxiety attack. And he had been telling me about the Apollo Neuro for a couple of weeks, he had just ordered ordered one and he was using it and experimenting with it. And I sat down on his couch before our session like we always do to talk about what we were gonna work on. And I, I was sharing with him just what was happening, what I was experiencing. And he took his device off, his Apollo Neuro, and he gave it to me and he put it on my wrist. And he set it to the relax and unwind setting. And what I experienced was insanely profound. I watched as my body started to relax, my heart rate started to come down, and my mind started to be more at ease. With every passing minute, I became more and more relaxed, and I felt less and less anxious, and I felt the stress starting to decrease. This was such a profound moment for me because it was so visceral, and it was in such real time that I was like, this is, this is powerful. This is really, really, really powerful. So this has been my anecdotal experience um, just in that moment that I was like, okay, I need to look into this. I need to investigate this. I need to see what this is really all about. So then I got my own device and I've been using it for the last couple of weeks. And I wanna to talk to you about some of the results that I've experienced and also go through some of the features and, and how it works. I'm gonna break that down for you as well. You can expect that uh, I'm going to do a much more comprehensive review in a couple months once I have some time to use it consistently for a longer period of time and I will pay attention to my aura ring data and I will report my findings back after that. So as I mentioned earlier, the Apollo Nero is a device that uses different frequencies of vibration to work with your nervous system to influence it into a certain state. The device was created by some neuroscientists, people who work with people who have post-traumatic stress disorder or have some type of trauma you know, they're also doing psychotherapy. And so they were trying to find a way to help influence the nervous system to put it into a more parasympathetic state and help it deal with and increase the body's ability to handle and tolerate stress. So their promise on their site is all about increasing HRV. If you know anything about heart rate variability or HRV, it is what is attributed to our ability to cope with stress and is linked to our resilience. So let's talk about how it looks and, and how it works and how you use it. It's this little black device. You strap it to your arm like a bracelet or you can strap it to your ankle just like that. So for me, it's kind of bulky. This is like almost bigger than an Apple Watch in terms of like its depth or its width. It just feels like a big thing to have on your wrist. So my preference is to put it on the ankle. And so once you strap it on, put it on your wrist or your ankle, you're going to open up the app. So when you open up the app, it's going to connect to your device. It opens up this simple screen where you can pick the type of mood that you want to put yourself in. So 
when you wake up, you could do energy and wake up. And then there is a mode intensity and there is a session duration. So you pick how long that session is going to be and at what intensity. There is the social and open option, the clear and focused, the rebuild and recover, meditation and mindfulness, relax and unwind, sleep and renew. So basically different settings or modes for different situations. The ones that I have been using the most are the clear and focused, the rebuild and recover, relax and unwind, and the sleep and renew. And the first thing that I noticed when I uh, tried the sleep and renew one, which if you know anything about my channel, you know I'm all about the sleep stuff. So when um, I wore it before bed for about 30 minutes and I noticed that I could not stay awake for the life of me. I, I was fighting to stay awake. It was so hard for me to actually just continue with my evening routine. I had more stuff to do, but it was like, Shit, I just gotta, I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. I thought that was really cool. As far as the relax and unwind, usually towards the later end of the day after I'm done working and I wanna like unplug and sort of just ease into my evening, I've been using the relax and, and unwind setting and I found it to be super soothing. It's actually, I noticed a pretty noticeable difference in just how I feel. Uh, this, is, this is very anecdotal. I don't have too much data to, to back up all these things, but my, this has just been my experience. The clear and focused one, I did just before this, I decided to turn this on as I was doing some research, and I did notice that it, I had a little bit of a headache and it kind of made the headache go away. And I have been pretty focused on doing the work that I'm trying to do. So there's a lot of stuff to experiment with this and, and I can't say that I've, I've tried everything and I've, I've given it even enough time to really experience it fully. But from my limited experience and from my limited testing, I have really, really liked it, especially just because of that first experience that I had in the beginning. The way that it feels is it's basically like these very, I would say, subtle vibrations that they come in and out in and out and there's like different rhythms and depending on which mode you're using you will feel it in a different way and it stimulates the nervous system sometimes into a more parasympathetic state sometimes into a more sympathetic state for example for the energy and wake up setting and the clear and focus it is a more stimulating vibration the idea is that these little vibrations and sound frequencies can induce us into a certain state just as when you listen to an exciting song you will be excited and just as you listen to a relaxing song it will make you relax but these vibrations actually touch our skin and are working with our physiology so after watching an interview with the founder of the company i realized that uh, this is legit like this is a real real thing it was built by a bunch of neuroscientists and they put it through the ringer and tested it through a randomized controlled double blind study and the results from that test were incredible and i will link up some of the research in the description as well so you can go check it out so let's talk about how much it costs it's 350 bucks so it is kind of steep it's definitely not cheap but for what it does to me i think it's worth it if you are someone who is susceptible to stress or if you are under more stress than the average person, for example, a CEO or a high performing executive at a company, someone who just lives a very stressful lifestyle, whether you're an athlete or you travel a lot or whatever your situation is, we're all under stress, but some people more than others. And I would also say for people who live a very sedentary life, I think it could be good as well. If you're, if you're desk bound and you're spending a lot of time behind the computer, you don't have the time to go for walks or go jump in the ocean or, or do all these things. I mean, you should always make time for those, but hey, sometimes life is busy and, and things get in the way. If that's you, then I think this is something you should consider. Is it the first thing that you should buy if you're trying to improve your health? No, I think there's other things that you can go for first, but if you are looking to optimize or you're dealing with anxiety or stress, especially that has been my experience. It was super helpful in that moment of panic. And I think it can be super powerful for other people dealing with similar issues. I also want to link up another video up here or in the description from my friend Katie type a who did her own review where she talked about how it increased her HRV and her sleep stats. So she's got some cool data to back up her experience. And if you haven't seen the video that we did together before me and her, where she talks about the top three products in 2020 to improve your health and wellness. And I will link that up as well. Definitely go check that out because 
when you're looking to allocate your wellness budget, you know, there are many factors to consider. You know, you always got to find what's right for you and what's optimal for you. So what can you expect from using the Apollo Neuro? And I want to plant this seed, which is anytime you're trying to work on your health or improve your health, whether you start some new habits or you put in some lifestyle interventions or you start a new protocol or you buy a new device or technology to use, things are going to take time. Results are not always instant, you know, and something that I heard in an interview with the founder of Apollo Neuro is that the benefits will come after long term usage. I think he recommended two hours per day for about two months is really when you start to see the major differences. So that's just something to keep in mind. And if you already have the Apollo Neuro or you're looking at getting it, let me know what your questions are in the comments and what your experience has been or, or what you're hoping it will do for you. I'd love to hear from you. And one last thing that I thought was pretty cool for all my EMF freaks out there uh, is when you turn the Apollo Neuro on and you pick your setting, you can then put your phone in airplane mode and it will still work. So you can have the device vibrating on your body and it will be in airplane mode. So I thought that was another cool little benefit. So I've just reached out to the company to see if I can get some type of special discount code for you. Uh, we'll see if I get it. If I do, I will update the links and put it in the description or in the first comment. So hopefully this video was helpful for you and you can know if this is right for you. Uh, I'm gonna keep experimenting with it, see how it goes, give it some time, and I will report back once I do. If you like this video, then you're definitely gonna like this video or, or this video and if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do that because we got a lot more content coming soon and I'll see you in the next one.